So I want to tell y'all a quick story on what actually propelled my selling career. It was actually one of my dream jobs as a kid that I always wanted to work at. And I was actually fortunate enough to have it be my first job, which was GameStop. I came to Vegas uh, my senior year again. I was in Chicago um, during my junior year. And then I went to Vegas for my senior year. And I actually got a chance to get a job at GameStop. Now, mind you, this is my first job. I was actually, my first job was, was, was supposed to be McDonald's, but I ended up moving and I went to Vegas. So GameStop was actually the first job that actually started my selling career. And this is why I'll tell you about this. So GameStop at the time, I don't know what it is like now, just because this was just about under 10, over 10 years ago. Um, GameStop used to have this uh, quota you had to make, you know, such as doing reserves, meaning that you reserve video games for the customer. Uh, when customers come in and they make a purchase, you're supposed to incentivize them to reserve a game, which is still kind of the thing they still do now. The pre-orders, you know, any game that comes out that's, that's coming, eventually going to come out, uh, you, you're supposed to incentivize the customer to pre-order. And then they had another uh, uh, incentive that they wanted you to do, which was sell uh, subscription services, which was the Game Informer magazine, their uh, pro membership card, which gives you uh, 10% on used pre-owned games. You can get like different perks and stuff like that. Um, savings on um, used games and systems and accessories, which is pretty dope at the time. I know they didn't added a whole lot of different perks now. I know you can get like a bonus, like a $5 credit or something towards any purchase now, which is still cool. They've, they've made a lot of progress, but GameStop, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, a lot of people have different mixed reviews with GameStop. I actually had a great experience with GameStop uh, for the most part. Uh, just because the fact I enjoyed the job, it was my first job allowing me to be able to learn organization skills um, as far as inventory management, dealing with customers on a one-on-one uh, -on -one basis, you know, because when you're you talking to customers and customer service, you got to be interactive and especially with someone who's introverted, you know, that's not really comfortable with being around in groups of people. Um, GameStop allowed me to learn those skills by being in front of people and just, you know, it was easy to talk to people about something you're already interested in. So that's why I think it's very important, especially for someone who's looking to learn skills. And I always tell people all the time, you know, work to learn, not to earn, because the jobs and the skill sets that you earn through working for someone gives you the tools necessary to go out and start your own thing which I think is very important, especially for anyone who's inspiring to be an entrepreneur, maybe tired through the corporate grind, and maybe wanna be able to start your own thing. Well, think about how you can be able to learn by working for somebody. Sales is definitely something that gave me the incentive at GameStop. And one of the things, again, was that they told me, at, the, at least the manager at the time, she said, you know, look, we need a quota that we need to make. And if you want to have hours on your job, then you got to get good at making sure that you hit these quotas with reserves and subscriptions. So I pretty much made the decision, you know, made the decision to go ahead and hustle and really, you know, step up my selling game because I knew that at the time, you know, even though I was still in high school, I still wanted to make more hours because the fact is I actually enjoy the job. I'm a gamer. This is something that I do in my spare time. So being that it is my first job, like why not be able to be able to work somewhere that you enjoy being at as much as possible. So my goal initially was to be a, um, you know, a manager, hopefully start my, get my own store. You know, I was even thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna be this big top shot, you know, and the top executive of this company. That's at least that's what my thought was. So I was at GameStop for roughly about two and a half years. Um, give or take, I, I try to stay in it like that last second year, just because right after high school, I was pretty much at that point, ready to move out get my own place and stuff like that. No particular reason, no bad upbringing at home. I was just, I just thought it was just like, oh yeah, I'm ready to get my own crib. You know, I had a girlfriend at the time. So I thought me and her was going to stay in our own place and get our own place. And it's just a lot of different changes that took place in that time frame. But GameStop was a great opportunity that I believe that gave me the opportunity to learn sales learn how to deal with people, how to be able to incentivize value with customers who are already, you know, interested in a particular product. Because a lot of times if you're going to sell something like a reserve or a subscription, you want to add enough value to the customer to feel like they're actually gaining something from the transaction. Like if you know that someone's going to buy Call of Duty, you know, more than likely they're going to reserve the new Call of Duty if they like Call of Duty. These are things that you want to learn. And even in business, as far as when you're incentivizing your customers, thinking about 
how you can be able to incentivize people to get value. When you establish value, price is never an issue. Um, as well as, you know, gaining someone's trust enough to go ahead and buy something, even when they normally wouldn't do it, but because they like you, they will do it. And I learned a lot of that skill based off working at GameStop, customer service, getting one-on-one -on -one and asking questions and identifying what is it that a customer actually likes and what can you do to make that experience memorable where they will want to come back, but ultimately want to purchase something because of what you recommend. And I think that's about establishing trust and value. So as someone who is an entrepreneur, inspiring, um, and you know, someone who likes to share this wealth of information to people that are inspiring um, to you know, start their own thing, my lesson from GameStop gave me the skills as far as one-on-one -on -one interaction. Dealing with the fact of you know, sales, incentivizing people to, you know, upselling people, right? And incentivizing people to, to, to understand benefits. Um, a good salesperson or a good customer service rep is gonna always establish value first and foremost. And so GameStop, you know, was a great company. I think, I still think it's a decent company. I don't, you know, as far as um, just if you enjoy video games, if you love, um, being around people and you want to just be in an atmosphere where you're working with people, talking about something you love. I think GameStop is a great company to work for. Want to just, you know, have this be your first job. I definitely think it's recommended. You know, it's a great place to, uh, you know, just do something you enjoy to do. You can do it during college or high school or just something to, you know, just give you that work experience. So if you like what you saw, you like in this game that I'm giving you, uh, definitely subscribe to this channel if you're feeling the vibes. And again, my name is Dequarius Beverly. Just wanted to just share you a chapter of the book of my life in hopes that it inspires someone who's out there watching, maybe wanting to, you know, get into the field of finding something they enjoy. I know that a lot of jobs out there are very, very, very um, um, broad and open right now. As of the time of this video, I don't know what it would look like in the next two years or so, but Nonetheless, find something you enjoy to do. I think it's a great thing. Nothing's wrong with jobs. It's really about how you work those jobs and how you ultimately find your purpose into fulfilling a cause that is greater, to your, than, greater than yourself. And that may be a job, that may be your own thing, but nonetheless, it's really up to you. So I hope you can continue to watch these series and I'm gonna get off this box of uh, ranting right now. And I hope you guys will continue to watch me in further videos. So again, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Aquarius Beverly, signing off. Peace.